Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation and a disaster battle incoming. Uh, playing Total War Shogun 2 for the Samurai as the Saga Imperial Vanguard, going up against the Aizu. These guys here are going to come down to the settlement of Musashi and beat the living crap out of it. We've mostly... it's a good defensive position, but we've mostly just got levy infantry in here, which is an, is an amazing. Uh, the garrison will have some levy garrison infantry, just again, not amazing. And they've got some pretty good units coming in here. Some Shogunate Infantry and Shogutai. Those are always very dangerous. Now, there's two things that we can do to prepare for this situation here. We can either accept that we just can't win the battle, take these guys here out of the city, maybe bring them over to Sagami, and just say, well, we lost the city, no big deal. Well, at least our forces here wasn't taken. And then, even if they was to loot the settlement, it only has 42 town wolf, so it's not really that big of a deal to lose, especially considering you're already exempting this region from taxation in the first place. Let's see what's going on over here. Right. Right, you really should be alternating between high and low taxes. See, that one there's going to revolt. This one here, let me have a look at this. Right, this should be high taxes this turn. That's going to make you... That makes you a hell of a lot money the, more money that you're making. But we've also got to deal with this. Now, so that was option one. I just abandoned the settlement. Now, option two is actually bring these forces over here to Misashi. Now, you can see here that they don't quite reach via land. But there's a port here and a port there and a fleet right here. We can ferry them across and it'll save a hell of a lot of movement. We've also got a general here who... If we get him on the boat, he might be able to come and assist as well. Uh, these infantry are not going to make it. They, they they don't even make it to the port. Now, as for this settlement here, I think I think he just expanded too quickly. I could, if I wanted to, bring this guy into the into the Shimosa and prevent that one from revolting. But then he won't be able to get it to Musashi, and I think that's more important. So we're going to try to save Musashi from a regular faction as opposed to rebellion. I'm still going to do something about the rebellion, but just bear with me here. Okay, first thing, get the uh, the daimyo into here. Grab these two, stick them in. That's it. Bring them over here. Get them as close to the city as you can. And I think these guys here actually have more movement than the general, so I think I can shove them into the city. Yep, cool. So they're in there. They'll be able to deploy straight away. And since he's cavalry, it's not that big of a deal. He's not there to begin with. Although he, he won't get a lot of experience for not being the primary general there. But he just just out of movement there. Now, as for this settlement here, even if it's exempted from taxation, it's still going to revolt. So you might as well tax it. Now, let's have a look over here. I think what we should do is prepare to get rid of the rebellion as opposed to prevent it entirely. So let me just check this again. Yep. So if I bring all of the infantry, because if I bring the art, actually no, let's bring the artillery as well. They're not going to make it into the city, but there's always a chance that the um, the rebellion won't capture the city. If you could just stand right there. That way you'll still get replenishment if they do end up capturing it. There's no point repairing any of this because it, it's not going to... Uh, look, you've got tons of money. Just do it. I made you a heap load of money by adjusting the taxes. Now this area over here does need forces to go back there next turn in order to prevent the revolt. We've also got the Citadel repairing there. It's just... Yeah, that's just a, a situation and a bit there. We've also got another ship over here we can bring in. Bring them closer to the coastline here because we want to make sure that they can actually bomb when the time comes. That's already got 10 ships in it, but let's switch out that. I don't think it'll make any difference, but just do that anyway. Oh no, that actually made absolutely no difference. Yeah, there we go, there we go. I just didn't click the button. Never mind. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And everything else seems fine. Now we just gotta hope that we made enough of a difference. Uh, is any of these guys here gonna make it? Nah, too far away. Wait, 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 wait. How many provinces are exempt from taxation? It was just that one. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, moving on. So we've got one revolt to deal with, and we've got that battle to deal with as well. Okay. 
So the odds should be pretty badly out of our favor, but an extra unit plus the artillery is going to make, I, I hope, a big difference here. I think they're really lucky they might not even make the attack. I doubt it. The, the odds were ridiculously bad. Yeah, they're still going to make the attack. Okay. So, yeah, really bad odds. But, at least we got some parrot guns. Alright. Alright, alright. And the general here... What we should try to do with him is get the attention of the reinforcing units, try to get them to... Uh, the Sabre Cavalry. Alright, let's just, just get in here and see what we can do. But yeah, those are some pretty bad odds. Ooh. I like the look of that defense there. Pretty common map, but yeah, I like the look of that defense. Big settlements like this give you a lot of opportunity in terms of tactics and how to deal with them. You said that enemy units are going to be coming in from all directions. The majority of their forces will be on the right side. Yeah, yeah, they're always... Oh, you said right side. Does it mean here? Usually they come from this side. I'm not going to... We'll just, we'll just see what happens with that. Alright, so bounce power is not in our favor just against the first army. Alright, let's get organized. So we got some parrot guns here. Where should we deploy them? Which way? He did say... Okay, I see what he means. Okay, he said facing right. So I'm assuming the cameras look in this way, and he means right, not friggin' <laughs> the east. It's so much easier if you don't use left and right and use north, south, east, west, because that way there's no confusion. Okay, because yeah, from my experience fighting on this map, the AI always deploys heavily on this side here, which is... Which is the uh, the west side. All right, so we're going to deploy here and hope that we can land a few hits with that. Okay, and then spear levy. Uh, the spear levy. Are we going to try to general snipe? Probably not. I don't think we'll bother. Got a lot of guns, but uh, they're all shit guns. We need we need good guns. All right, we will. Use defeat in detail and continue to fall back. Oh, hang on. We should be spreading out one unit thin. Yep, where possible. Don't think they're really going to come around this way. Unless... Do we have a way up? No. I was going to think about uh, putting a unit over here to lure them in. But anyone that comes over here is going to be trapped, so it's not worth it. Need to make sure that my guys have easy ways to get back up here. They'll be fine. Okay, you should be fine if you stay here. We abandoned this section of the wall pretty damn early. I don't expect there's going to be too much coming in from this direction here unless they walk through here, which seems unlikely. Okay. Put a unit there. Because they usually attack up through here. I want that one firing as soon as possible. They usually come up through here as well, so... Spread that out. Okay, and I just really need to keep a close eye on everything. Just have these stand back for now. We'll bring them in a bit later. Yeah, I was right. They they came they come in from the fucking west. <laughs> which which is my right from here. No no no, I want you shooting over here. You gotta Aim at whatever you can. Okay, this guy's coming in, but... Gotta be careful to get him in safely. Where's the enemy reinforcements coming from? Good 
Cool, yeah, taking out Shogato with this, really good. We've also got a lot of naval support, so that's good. We should really consider bombing their reinforcements while they're in a nice big cluster. When the time comes. Alright, at least he's not coming near here. You've got a fair bit of distance to travel. But it'd be good to bring him up here to use the Gambate. That does make a big difference. Yeah, the parrot guns are getting some kills. Maybe we could... Oh, maybe we could aim for the... The general, even. That's not him. But yeah, taking out the bow key. That could be good. Azure Dragon Force. Let's get whatever kills we can. Where is the general's unit? Ah, uh, careful. Careful. If we come up here, we might get caught. Wait, the general's unit, it says it's here. Yeah, there, that's the, that's the dude there. Yeah, I was blind. I just couldn't bloody see him. Okay, yeah, there's three units coming up through here. You just stay there. We're going to get you in safely. And this one here. Yeah, it's getting a couple of kills. All right, this is ready to go. We'll go focused and hopefully bomb the living shit out of that. Okay, Shogutai coming in. Really bloody quick. Start moving back. Spear Levy getting shredded over there. That's good. This is good as well. Bring him up. These guys. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, they're, of course they're trying to dodge. They're, yeah. Fair enough. You getting some kills? Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. I don't want them to turn around and shoot at you. That's just Spear Levy and they're about to break anyway. The enemy have claimed the tower, sir. Is there any time to get on the walls here and shoot at these Shogato? Probably not. I'd say just get back to the next level here. Yeah, a few kills. A few kills. Better than nothing. Good, we shattered the Spear Levy there. That's great. This is pretty good over here. Hey, yeah, why don't you run them down while you're, while you're here? You getting shots in? Yeah. A tower has fallen into enemy hands. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Fucking Shogatite. Okay, this guy is obstructed again. Get him over shooting that. This one here is having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, reform up a little bit. Get back. Okay, let's reform this because I don't think we've got as many units shooting as we could. How are we going? Yeah, this is, this is good. This is good. Got time to get organized. Okay, 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 okay. Sir, your general is under attack. That's not this one. Still don't feel confident about bringing him in just yet. Probably means this one here is under attack a little bit. That's pal's okay. Shogatai are already bloody here. Okay, start pulling back, because yeah, as soon as you're in melee there, it's not really going to do much. Okay, spread out a little bit. Protect the artillery, we're still bombing. Try to shoot wherever we can. Okay, let's get a focus shot right there. Might bomb my own units there a little bit. This is fine over here.
Okay, bringing our spear guys in. These guys here, they're just I'm having a hard time finding a target. Wish these guys had kneel fire, but they don't. How are we going here? I really want to get you inside. Yeah, okay, you. Yeah, you spread out as wide as you can. Not through here. Good, bombing them. Like I said, might get a little bit of friendly fire, but I think it's worth it. I got two levies standing on top of each other there. Not good, move back. Once we get rid of the Shogatai, I feel like things will be a bit better for us. Yeah, just keep bombing in there. Alright, come up through here and shoot these Shogunate infantry. Hopefully they're too busy. Okay, you're not really shooting anything. Come up this way. I don't care if you get friendly fired, bloody, bloody get him. That spell's not horrendous. This is good, this is good. This is fine here, they should win in that little engagement. I just can't get this one to shoot anymore. It still managed to get a good number of kills, essentially a full unit's gone. We need to bring these guys back up as soon as this one here breaks. So this one here's not even shooting, just bring it up. Shattered, good. Alright, you run that down. Get these two up here. And yep, 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 this one coming up. This one doesn't need to be there anymore. Get over here. Keep them fighting. Try to get the levies to shoot as best as they possibly can. Alright, still can't play get a target with this one. So I reformed them a little bit. Okay, let's bring him inside. We really need to pop down some abilities over here. Let's focus on getting the win rather than absolutely annihilating the enemy. Because most of these forces here are garrison units, so they're just gonna come back straight away anyway. Are we getting any no, I just can't get a fucking shot in with this one. Right, pack it up. Let's move it to the back so it doesn't get killed. I've just got to keep bringing forces up this way. You come up. Yeah, popping down the gun button will help. Bounce of power is improving. Okay, we've got another one of these. Which, if I pop that down there, would be a huge mistake. Let's just try this one again. Because I don't really have any other good positions to shoot from. Alright, this one, let me just see, do we have a, oh, there's a garrison there. You get out of the way. Need you to fall back a little bit. Okay, if you could fall back a bit, then this one here could shoot from this direction. Good, we got a whole bunch of them shattering. Oh, I think we've inflicted the army losses. Oh, we did it, how about that? Man, a few extra units made such a huge difference. But we're not out of the woods yet because we still have to deal with that revolt. This is just the age old saying of you win on the strategic map before you go to battle. Make the preparations that you need to first. Victorious general wins before the battle, not afterward. Ah, not during it, whatever, you know what I mean. Right, these are just garrison ladies come back. But yeah, it's all in good shape. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much of a difference just a couple of extra units can make. This guy only got four kills. Is this doing anything to us? No. no, they're they shattered. Now we just hit end battle and they should mostly get killed off. That's why I didn't bother going over there. Just waiting for the... Uh... There it is. Boom. Heroic victory. Nice. 
And what I like about that was a nice clean victory where the units that are actually proper units, not garrison, didn't get obliterated. Yeah, so these two here, garrison, levy garrison, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. In fact, you should be in good enough shape to pursue them and finish them off. But we'll see. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Rebellion in Shimosa, yeah, we're aware of that. Yeah, you get a lot of this mounting and rest stuff, but you just cycle it between the turns. So now... Now what we do is, to fix this huge problem, you don't want to revolt everywhere, you switch it back to where it was before, and just try to optimize the public order. So what happened over here to cause a minus one problem? Maybe something finished research. Oh, it's winter. Sometime, oh, I don't know. You could just exempt it from taxation for the turn. Uh, the, yeah. Well, we made like 18,000. And then this one over here was actually fine over the previous turn. Is this a rebellion? I think that rebellion was already there. What do you wish of me? So you got this Ishin Shishi. Actually, if you could... No, he'll never make it there in time. What is your bidding? Why is this guy standing out? Uh, maybe you just recruited him? I'm not sure. If this rebellion... Oh my god, that's nothing. But you can't beat it with this one levy infantry. Okay, so let's have a look at this rebellion over here. Uh, where are we? Where were we? <laughs> Shit. It was... Where was it? Oh, you're all the way over here, right. Okay. So, that's the Koga rebels over this way. So, they didn't get to the city, and they're not going to get there next turn. They're too far away. Okay, we've still got to prevent a couple of other revolts over here. So, if you, this one gets in there, that sorts that out. Not a large garrison in there, though. But you don't really have any serious threats. This one is not going to, um, to leave the province. So, you can... Send this guy. If we attack him with this, this one might stand at five, but it's actually very large. But we should definitely capitalize on our victory here and finish them off. Yeah, absolutely. Capitalize on that, finish them off. Let's go. Go for the smaller one first. Interesting. Interesting. Night attack. This is um, good on two fronts, because we get two battles out of this, which will be relatively easy, hopefully, and that means more experience for our daimyo, which is always good. You want to fight as many small battles as possible, rather than one massive fuck-off battle. You get the same amount of experience. Alright, since we've got artillery, we don't want to make use of the trees. We don't really need the high ground. Just get them to come at us. Go wide. There's there's no fancy tactics that we need to use here. There's no enemy artillery. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. Just go wide, because we can't use kneel shot, so we just need to make sure as many of them will shoot at once. Looking at them, they will definitely come at us. Yari key, yeah, there's there's no hope for them. I think. The men are ready to attack, sir. So what we do here is they they can only charge into so many units at a time. Probably this one actually. Move move them back a little bit. I reckon they are gonna try to flank us. Stay ahead of the artillery there. Yeah, priority needs to be taking out the enemy cavalry. The matchlock cut matchlock cut aren't gonna do anything. They've got lower range than levy. Yeah, get one shot off on them. 
think we should use the gunbutt there now, because it'll still take them a moment to get here. And we really need to deliver as much hurt as possible. To shoot at the ground here, need to go for the, uh, the Yari key. The bow key, I don't think, are a big concern, although they do outrange us. Sometimes firing at the ground is actually better than firing on the actual unit if you're not dealing with a whole lot of things to micro. So this is this is pretty good for us so far. Now I could go into first person mode, but honestly I got next to no experience in that so I'll probably miss. Whereas doing this, it's working just fine. Most of our shots are hitting. Not concerned at all about their infantry. Actually, I'm not too familiar with the Dragon Force. I don't think they're going to go that wide after all. It, just keep aiming at the ground and put all these guys on guard mode. I don't think it's going to do anything, but just do it anyway. Alright, I don't think these Yari key are going to do anything anymore. Let's move on to the bow key. Paracon's already doing quite a lot of value for us. I'm really glad we brought them over here. I think it's made a huge difference. Because yeah, if we win here, this army gets wiped out. And that means they're probably not going to bother you again for quite some time. And that's really what you want. Because you need some time to consolidate. You've just been rampaging through here. You don't have your public order under control. You're in no position to go and expand right now. I do think the Boki have higher range than our Levy Infantry, but what we can do is just move up quickly when they uh, get into range. Okay, let's go over here. Best to go after the... Uh, the less damaged units. Advance a little bit. Oh, uh, no, too late. It's too late. Okay, get ready, here we go, and gun it. Get that fire rate up. Make sure you shoot at that Yari key there. This guy here needs to rotate around. You have triumphed over the enemy! Good, we've basically already inflicted the army losses. A couple of kills on us, but in the grand scheme of things, absolutely nothing. Good, they're all goners. Good, only a handful of kills for us. Uh, casualties, I mean. Good thing your general had night attack. That made a big difference here. Probably could have still won, but it would have been not as good. Anyway, that's good. Take that guy out. Oh, interesting. Hmm, didn't wipe him out. I can't explain it. Alright, let's have a look at him. So, we've got him now to tier 5. I'll let you put the skills where you want. I don't think we're going to need it for this particular fight here. Get him in there. Uh, probably need to fight that manually. I don't anticipate this being a problem because order, uh, the, um, the parrot guns just account for so much here. We don't really need a night attack. I just do it anyway. Just not confident that that is a good order result for us there. Same map. Looks like there's a little bit of a high ground over here, but I don't really need to make use of it. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, there is a little bit of a high ground there. I think I, think I might actually do that. Might send the infantry over there this time. Still going to deploy... We, we've got a moment we can get them over here a bit. Alright, let's do that. Because, yeah, I didn't use the hill last time because it was not as big of a battle as this. It's not much of a hill. But Prepare let the infantry attack, just suck sir. so much. I, I just need to make them go wider. And so to make them wider, I can layer them. It's not much of a hill. I can make that work. They don't seem to be coming at us because they don't detect us having any artillery. They're just giving us time to set up. Oh, good. That's dumb of them. Make sure that these guys here have as good of a firing range as possible. Let's have a look. Alright, I think this guy can go further down the hill. Rotate that around this way a little bit. Okay, and we've set them up about as wide as we possibly can. So that means that most of them will be able to shoot straight away. Okay, and you set up, and they should just come straight for us as soon as we do this. Even though we're not in range. They're just... Basically, it just goes like this. The AI checks to see if you've got artillery, and if they've got artillery. If you've got artillery and they don't, they're like, Oh, we better advance or else they're going to bomb us. Even though that what they could do is just sit there and wait for us to, to give up this hill and stand over here, but they're, they're not very smart. Concerned, some of these guys here are going to have obstructed line of sight. Just a little bit. We'll move this one forward a bit more. It's really important to get down on the ground and have a look at what they can see. Just try to put down a gun butt there. Although these guys here are not just walking towards us, they're running. Uh, go, let's go for the Sabre Cavalry. Although the direction that they're coming from does not look promising for them. Over here, over here. Oh, very nice. Okay, don't worry about them too much now. Oh shit, I probably shouldn't have done the Gambate when I did. I don't think that's actually as good now. Because yeah, now these guys aren't benefiting from it. Okay, I need to rotate it a little bit, because they're not wrapping around us like I kind of suspected that they would. But that's fine, that's fine, we got this. Move forward a little bit. Okay, these two here move back because they're not advancing to where these guys here can shoot. So what we're doing here, draw them in further up the hill. And move back, we don't want you getting shot. Okay, you turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Good. Also, this helps to spread out the casualties a little bit more. What's going on with you? Why aren't you shooting? Ah, oh, obstructed. Um... Shit, okay. Move over to the side here. Because of friendly fire. You move over over here a little bit. We'll open it up. Okay, 
keep falling back there. I didn't put these guys straight up at the top of the hill. That was a mistake. That's okay. There we go, there we go. Let's get some shots now. Ready for this? Good. Okay, just go into one long line here. Fall back there, draw them in. Bouncer Power says we got this. You move back just so we spread out the casualties a bit more evenly. Okay, cool, there's the army losses. Alright, that's the Aizu forces dealt with for now. We don't have to worry about them again. Now let's worry about cleaning up the rest of this mess. As much as possible. I don't want to hit another ring turn, though. Now, the the main rebellion that, that showed up... I don't think it's urgent that we actually deal with that. How are we going here? Okay, it says it's going to revolt, so if we just... Uh, Now we actually can't get back there. Unless... We se how many units do we have to send? We have to send two units over there to prevent it. Okay, we can do that. You get over there. Send two units. We'll send the damaged units. Yeah, send these two. Okay, no revolt there. You gotta revolt over here though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Even if, if we exempt it from taxation, it's still gonna do it. Should have recruited something here last turn. Yeah, if we had recruited the spear levies, we could have prevented that, but I don't know. I'm not familiar with every little bit of the campaign. Damn it, another revolt there. Unless we... Unless we... Mm, unless we... Hang on. Unless we can manage to increase his honor by two. <laughs> hang on, let's have a look. Uh, let's see. That will do it by one. Shit. I don't want to level him up. Without the guy's permission, I don't know what he wants. Uh, how can I fix that? I mean, it's, it's a pretty, pretty beefed up defensive position there. Let's go to Citadel. Chances are the revolt won't capture the city. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I see. I see what we do here. I see it. Okay. It's same thing. It's the same thing as the other place. We send a ship over here. Grab two units, stick them in there, and then, oh, they just make it. There we go. Oh my god, that was a major concern there for a moment. Okay. Okay, so no more revolts over this next turn here. This army can't reach Shimosa. This should go into Shimosa and just sit there. This one here, the public order is just fine. This one will not cross over the border there. These guys here... Let me see if they actually want peace. If we go to the Aizu, they might want peace. No. Unless, speak what if we sold the military access? No. But speak carefully. Yeah, they're very strong. So even though we smashed them down, need a little bit more time. Also, yeah, okay. I've left the level up there so that you can level them up as you see fit. These forces here are of no further concern to you. I don't imagine there's going to be another Aizu attack. You clearly need some time to consolidate here. Um... How you go about that is entirely up to you. Get some of those Ishin Ishi dudes. They really help with conversion because you you've got um, non-allegiance to the emperor. 
and that'll help um, keep this province under control and then allow you to expand again. But yeah, sometimes you got to split up your forces. Something that's really good about the older Total War games compared to the newer ones. you got to split up your forces and just maintain control in multiple areas. And then just, you know, wait for the problems to go away as much as you possibly can. Honestly, Shimosa is not a very good defensive position. Nowhere near as good as the other ones. They just don't have the, the level of upgrade that the other ones have. If we have a look at it. Yeah, it's, I think it's just the non-clan allegiance is the problem. And you got a lot of modernization. Let me have a look at your tech. Very late in the campaign. Yeah. That would that would help you a hell of a lot right now. But, you know, it will take nine turns. But overall, I don't think this is an issue. This army will slowly make its way towards Shimosa. Maybe raid around the place. Just going to have to deal with that. They might even go and raid this. Sucks if they do it, but... This army here... Uh, you could... I mean, it's mostly levy troops. Could, we could probably beat that. Yeah, it's all just levy infantry. Ready for orders. Mm, I'll let you decide on that one. I just don't think that that's a big deal. You either can go into Shimosa to defend it, or go out and beat it. I think you could beat it, because yeah, cause most of this is just levy infantry. Everything from here to here is levy infantry, because they don't just mix in random units. And levy infantry are absolute rubbish compared to Imperial Guard infantry. That should be absolute easy but i reckon if we come over here and attack that uh they'll actually just run away that's what i think that they'll do actually why don't we check i'll just save it there because it's not a legendary and we'll just check i reckon the order resolve that should be in our favor yeah it is cool well i'll let him decide what he wants to do with that easy easy battle no problem there all right i feel like the situation is solved so i'm gonna hand this back to him as is anyway that's the end of this one hope you guys learned something hope you enjoyed it appreciate you and we'll see you next time later guys